Hello YouTube, this is Swamp Yankee. Uh, I'm making this video today to show you some of the finds I, I got at the local flea market last weekend. Um, just to show you that you don't have to spend a lot to actually uh, get a lot of stuff to supplement your preps and everything. Um, all this stuff here I bought at the local flea market through a couple different vendors. I think the total altogether came to be about $10, um, which I'm kind of happy with the stuff I got. Um, let me just show you real quick and uh, to show you that you don't have to spend a lot to actually uh, add to your preps and everything. Um, I got two triple antibiotic ointment creams, um, brand new. I checked them out, never been opened. Um, there's two in there. I got two boxes, uh, a buck total, 50 cents a piece. Um, not a bad deal, so I picked those up. Um, some other stuff I got real quick. A little hammer, brand new, never been used, it looks like. Um, it says 10 ounces on it. Uh, pretty lightweight and pretty durable. Nice little hammer, you can always use this for a lot of different tools around the house, throw it in your bag and stuff. Um, and I got a adjustable wrench, uh, looks brand new also actually. Um, these I got 50 cents a piece uh, from the local flea market. What else did I pick up this weekend? Um, let's see, big stuff first. Uh, these little cases, there's four of them all together, four different sizes. Uh, this looks like a pencil holder. Um, looks like it was used, but I don't really see anything wrong with it. And then two other types of this. And I see a dollar on there. Um, it says a photo case. So I'm guessing these are two are photo cases. Um, lightweight, they're in good shape. They look actually brand new. Um, and it looks like a butter butter dish, uh, plastic butter dish, brand new, never been used, uh, nice little plastic case, um, somewhat watertight, not great, great, but for a buck, I couldn't beat it for all four of them, all together, um, there's a buck, like an air buck a piece, it looks like on this one, Big Lots, selling this one for a dollar, I don't know if they sell these at Big Lots, but it looks like a dollar for this, so I'm guessing this was a dollar also and however much this was but i got it for a dollar for the four of them. um not a bad deal pretty cheap you use multiple uses for these i'll find out something i can put in these and, and use in the long run um coming to some other stuff looks like here an ultra steel four-in-one mini screwdriver brand new i got two of them um 50 cents a piece they were just there i asked the guy about it he said 50 cents a piece not a bad deal to me um, it's small, looks like a little pen, pen model here, um, comes with, let's see, an extra Phillips head and flathead screwdriver attachment, um, for 50 cents a piece, a buck for two, you can't beat it, um, check your local flea markets and tag sales, cause you're gonna find stuff like this, um, it's not the best, best quality stuff, but, you know, it's cheap, and it's, oh, cheap is always better. So always check your uh, tag sales and flea markets when you have them. Uh, you never know, you might find some good deals. Um, the best deal I got actually was this Leatherman. Um, it's a model here, just a super tool. Five dollars. I mean, it is used, but pretty much brand new and very good condition. All the attachments seem to work. I don't see any dents, no rusting. And um, I got this for five dollars. When I saw it, I always wanted Leatherman, but I just never got around to getting it. I always had the cheapy multiple tools. Um, but I saw this, and I'm like, oh, why not? Five bucks. I checked it online. They're selling for like $15, $20 sometimes if you could find them. Um, this is the older version. Uh, I think it's one of the, actually the first versions they had out. It was just the plain old super tool. I don't even think they make these anymore, honestly. The discontinued one from Leatherman. Um, great, great find for five bucks. Can't beat it. Um, I did incorporate this into another uh, EDC that I have, I made up for work, um, which I'll make another video on that later on. But uh, for five bucks, you can't beat something like this. Um, I kind of felt bad, I got it for five bucks, but hey, you know, the guy didn't want it, and five bucks, there you go. Um, the last two things I got are these PS20s, I think they're called, um, the can openers. The guy gave them to me 50 cents for two of them. Um, not too bad. I've actually used these before. I like the bigger ones than the little ones. Uh, I think they're PS12s or something like that. I don't know. 
um, but they actually work pretty good, honestly. Um, they look brand new. I don't see any rusting. Um, nothing too bad on it, but it's just nice to have. Throw in your VC or in your bag. You never know when you need something like that. But uh, like I said, all this stuff, local flea market last weekend, not a bad deal. Ten bucks, I think it was all together. Um, about ten bucks or so. Check it out. You never know. Always cheaper is always better. It may not be the highest quality stuff in the world, but you know what? It's going to work in a pinch. So hopefully you go check your local flea markets and tag sales, and hopefully this helps out a little bit. All right, talk to you later. Bye.